Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about currency trading, which is also called as forex trading. In today's session, we are going to deal what is currency trading, how currency trading works, and why to do forex trading. So, in the stock brokers app that you have, uh, you will be able to trade or invest in equity. For example, you will be able to buy a stock like SBI. Also, you will be able to trade in index. You will be able to trade in Nifty. You will be able to trade in Bank Nifty. And not only that, you will be also able to trade in commodities. You will be able to trade in crude oil. You will be able to trade in gold. And along with all these trading, you will be also be able to trade in currency. For example, US dollar and INR. That is US dollar and rupee. In that currency also you are able to trade so what are the currency trading pairs available in the indian stock market so the most popular currency pair is dollar and rupee that is usd and inr and all the pairs which are also available in the indian stock market are euro inr e u r hyphen INR that is euro or the European currency and the third one is GBP INR that is Great Britain Pound and INR and the fourth one is JPY INR that is Japanese Yen and INR. So in the forex trading there will be one quotation currency and also there will be one base currency. So when we have to trade in currencies, we have to decide what would be our base currency because quotation currency will be the same. Quotation currency will always be the INR or rupee. So base currency we have to select. We can select dollar, we can select euro, we can select pound or we can select yen. So what is the meaning of this base currency and quotation currency? So here we are mentioning to buy one dollar how much we have to pay that is how many rupees we have to pay uh, as per the market of yesterday to buy one dollar we have to pay around 82 rupees and to buy one euro we have to pay around 90 euros to buy one pound we have to pay 102 rupees to buy one japanese yen we have to pay around 0.62 rupees that is around uh, 62 paise we have to pay so the quotation currency will always be rupee base currency base currency is always fixed to one unit of a currency quotation currency refers to another currency which equates to the base currency so what are the timings wherein we can do the forex trading or currency trading so the forex market will open at 9 in the morning and will close at 5 in the evening and it will be open from monday to friday saturday and sunday will be the holiday trading type so forex or currency you are always going to buy in futures you are not going to buy in equity you are not going to keep it in your delivery like equity shares you are buying the future contracts so what are the future contracts available in the stock exchange the future contracts will be available for 12 months so uh, you will be able to buy the contracts of april may june july august september october november december and also january 2024 february 24 and march 24 also you will be able to buy all these future contracts will be available and for these currencies option contracts also available and these are available for three months that is for april for may and for june you can buy the call options and put options for these currencies so what is the expiry date every friday of the week so uh, just like uh, nifty or bank nifty uh, for currency also there is weekly expiry so nifty and uh, bank nifty 
Thursday is the expiry, but for currencies, Friday. Every Friday is the expiry. And if Friday is holiday, the previous trading day shall be the expiry. For example, uh, this week, uh, on Friday, there is a holiday. So the expiry will happen on Thursday, that is on 13th April. And all contracts will expire at 12.30 in the afternoon. The mechanism of trading of currencies is slightly different from that of the trading in stock futures because the tick size is different. For currencies, the tick size is 0 0.0025. For example, for in a stock market, the tick size is 0 0.05, that is 5 paise. And for currencies, it is 0.25 paise. Why this is so? Because the volatility in currencies are so much less. So they will be offering more leverage, more margin to you. And that is why the tick size is also less. So tick size means the minimum movement in a trading instrument. For example, dollar and rupee, uh, it was at 75.43. And the next tick will be 75.4325. And uh, we will also take an example of trading in currency. You buy at 75.43 and you sell at 75.44. The lot size is always 1000. In currency, the lot size is always 1000. So, you will be making a profit of 1000 rupees. And now, let us look how the currency pairs appear in your stock brokers app so you can see here the previous close uh, that, uh, that is the closing price of wednesday it was 82.06 and on thursday it opened at 82.0075 it made a high of 82.09 on thursday and it made a low of 81.85 so as you can see the range the difference between high and the low is very less uh, for example in stocks uh, if 81.85 is the low, 88 or 89 will be the high. So in stocks, there will be so much of range. But contrary to this, in uh, currencies, the range will be very less because the currencies are so much less volatile. That is why they give more leverage to you because one lot itself is 1000. Okay, here we can see how we can buy the USD INR futures. So you have you have to select margin and in lots you have uh, you can put one. So one lot means thousand. And to buy this one lot of thousand, you need to pay or you need to have the limit of only thousand nine hundred thirty six. So uh, it is not a very big amount. So even if the USDINR moves. 20 paise you will be making a profit of 200 so here you can see how the uh, brokerage is levied brokerage and other charges so the trade size is 80000 and for this huge trade the brokerage levied is only rupees 20 because nowadays uh, stock brokers uh, offer uh, flat uh, rupees 20 per trade whatever is the trading volume and for currency trading the other charges will be very less because there will be no security transaction taxes because currency is not a security so there uh, there will not be any security transaction taxes and with regard to the exchange that you buy the in nsc for currencies the charges will be a little higher and in bsc the charges will be a little lower so you can buy these currencies in bsc and you can reduce the charges that you have to pay for so for one buying and selling uh, the total charges that is levied will be rupees 40 0.66 only factors affecting the currencies currency trading the interest rate so if you are trade, uh, trading dollar and rupee the interest rate prevailing in india and the interest rate prevailing in us that of affects the exchange rate and import export data the import and export data of india also affect the exchange rate if India's exports are higher, the rupee becomes stronger, means the dollars become weaker. Uh, if it is at 82, it may move to 81. 
political factor the political stability of the government prevailing in the country for example if our government that is indian government is strong the, the rupee is likely to become strong uh, the dollar may come from 82 to 81 inflation so it is considered that inflation should be reasonably placed it should not be too high it should be on the lower side so if the inflation is on the lower side the rupee will become stronger uh, consumer price index also is an indicator of inflation only and why trade in forex the largest and most liquid market so if in the indian stock market only the indian traders uh, make the trading in forex markets the traders from all over the world make the trading so the liquidity will be more the number of uh, trades that are taking place will be more so it will be convenient for us to make the trades to make the buying and selling the second advantage suitable for all traders so in currency trading the volatility that is the movement in the prices will be very less so it will be easier to predict the movement three trading hours means the trading hours that is available for traders is higher uh, because uh, the market opens at 9 and uh, the market will be open till 5 in the evening so you get more trading hours you can make more trades and you can mo make more profits fourth advantage low transaction costs as i have just now explained the transaction cost will be less there will not be any security transaction tax etc five leveraged trading because uh, the volatility is less the stockbroker offer you more leverage just now we saw with a margin of rupees 2000 only we can uh, purchase worth rupees 80000 so we can purchase a lot more than what the amount we are having so uh, these are highly leveraged positions so we can take advantage of that slight price movement in the currency sixth favorable volatility even the volatility is the less there will be slight movements at every minute so we can take advantage of this slight movements because uh, the lot size is so much huge because with the, by paying only rupees 20000 we can buy 10000 uh, lot 10000 lot so uh, even if it moves 10 paise we will be making huge profits two way profits benefit from up and down movements so we can take the advantage of down movement also how we can short sell as you know in futures you can short sell so you sell first and then you buy later that you can do Eight, diversify diversify of trading instruments means you don't have to buy only dollar you can buy euro you can buy yen you can buy pound so you can diversify your investments in currencies uh, if even if one of the currency pair does not perform well the other currencies will perform well and balance your portfolio and make sure that your portfolio is giving you the returns decentralized markets trade anywhere so uh, because it is online system of trading you can trade from anywhere advanced trading technologies so nowadays brokers have you using very advanced technologies so uh, your trades will be executed instantly immediately in the fraction of seconds so this is all about forex trading thank you